everyone, Irish Griffith Code Enforcement here. I wanted to address something that has come up quite a bit, both in planning board meetings and in direct phone calls for other items that have not needed planning board approval, and that would be growth and wildlife. So I recognize, I've been here long enough to recognize that growth is happening here in Berwick and that, as in all municipalities, not everybody's going to be happy about that. The biggest issue here with growth in Berwick seems to be the wildlife. And I very much understand your concerns, and I myself am an animal lover. So to that end, I want to set everybody's mind at ease a little bit. I know that we have some endangered species, some at-risk species, and some species that we're just trying to not cause to become endangered or at risk here in Berwick. To that end, I want you to know that when we have anything that involves any sort of potential for any of these species to be negatively impacted, the town of Berwick can and does refer out to Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, Environmental Protection Agency, any of those agencies that could potentially give us advice on how to best handle minimizing the impact of these developments. So we are not uncaring, we are not unfailing, and we are not unaware of the damages that human beings cause to the environment around us when we start bushwhacking willy-nilly. Now, the Department of Environmental Protection already has certain setbacks that are required from wetlands, which, a reminder, are delineated by what is growing there, not whether or not there is water there. But those wetlands have to be delineated, and there is a setback buffer, same as for great ponds. Uh, additionally, if there is any concern anywhere about any of these species, we can call the Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife, and they will come down and review our projects. And I want you to rest assured we are doing that wherever we can. Okay? Thank you. Thank you.